Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another drum lesson. Today is going to be about how to play 32nd note licks on the bass drum. Now, I did do a written lesson for this one, which you can see right here, and if you want, I'll post a link down below where you can download this for yourself. And uh, it's basically just three, uh, I, won't, I don't want to say simple beats, but three beats, I mean, if you're playing 32nd notes on the bass drum, it's usually not going to be very simple. but it's not that hard either. So I would say this is probably an uh, intermediate to advanced uh, lesson if you've never attempted anything like this. Now, I'm going to be doing mine with a single bass drum pedal, uh, but you could do these with a double bass drum pedal as well, but it's not necessary, really. Um, I think it's actually better to learn how to do this on a single in the beginning because I have seen people play beats like these uh, on the double bass drum pedal and the problem is is they tend to rely on the double bass drum pedal to play these type of beats where you really shouldn't because uh, It's totally doable with a single bass drum, but that's just my opinion on that But you can do it on a double bass drum pedal anyway. So anyway, I'm going to start off with the first beat on the page here and just set this up here on my tom and uh, uh, Before I get started too, if you're interested in a good pair of sticks uh, if you're playing an electronic drum set at home uh, these LA Specials uh, are basically the price of uh, one for three pair on Amazon.com. I'll post a link down below. And if you want to purchase through that link, that helps my channel out. So anyway, here we go with the first beat. And this one is kind of broken up. Uh, the way I did it, there's eighth notes on the hi-hat. And there's only one little pair of 30-second notes uh, right before the three where I put the snare. So it goes like this. All right, let's move on to the second beat now. This one is going to be more of a uh, traditional style rock beat, whereas what I mean by that is the snare drum is happening on the two and four, uh, so it's the back beat. And then the 30 second notes are happening right before the first snare hit on the two. So it's going to go like this. Okay, let me speed that up a little bit. So you may be wondering, how do you get your foot to move that quickly? Now, the trick of it is, is basically um, what I always tell my students when I'm trying to teach them how to uh, work the bass drum pedal correctly, is imagine when you're sitting at a dinner table with a bunch of family and you're really nervous and you're kind of bouncing your knee up and down under the table. Uh, at least this is how I've been able to think of it. But that's kind of the motion that you do. It's almost like a almost like a nervous energy that you use with your leg. And I play with my heel up on the bass drum pedal. And so that is, enables me to get a little more speed where you can kind of do one downward motion and get two hits with one single downward motion. Now, some people do play with their heel down, uh, but to me, it's much harder to do something that fast with my heel down. I mean, I guess I can do it, but not as fast as I can with the heel up. all with a single bass drum pedal. Okay, so on to the last beat. This one, what it's doing here is actually, there's two 30 second notes before the first snare hit on the two, and then it's followed by another 30 second note. So this one is actually the hardest one on the, on the lesson, but I think it's one of the coolest ones on here uh, altogether. So this one goes like this.
right, that's all for today's lesson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Don't forget to download the link down below to the written lesson. Also, if you wanna get a pair of sticks, check that link too. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, if you like this kind of lesson, let me know too. If you have any suggestions of lessons you want me to show you, uh, feel free to leave that suggestion down below as well. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody and have a great day. Thank you.